morning everybody we're in morris manitoba getting loaded up turns out we didn't need that riser <laughs> so i stuck it in here tied it in there he's just on the other side they're loading me up We're gonna get this finished, get it tied down, and head off to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. It's about an eight hour drive, I think. Eight, nine hours. Muddy, muddy yard here. Getting ourselves dirty today. My strap's getting all dirty too. What can you do, right? What can you do? These are banded on here pretty tight. I'm gonna tie them down individually though. So one strap over here, one strap over there. Put in corners on the top because that sharp corner. Looks like we've got two more over there. This here. I was told I have 12 pieces going on, so... Oh, here comes another one. Let's move ourselves over here. Wonderful. I love getting all muddy first thing in the morning. I can sit all day in the mud. Literal mud lot. Do what we gotta do, right? Okay, so I'm all done. I'm all loaded up. I'll give you a little sneak peek here. This is what we're working with. Piping of sorts. Among other stuff. Oh, good thing I came back here and double checked. This is why I always double check everything. Don't want to lose those. I'm not perfect. That's why I double, triple check everything. Squishy, squishy. Got the handy snipe bar. I need these tarps. I don't want them to end up on the highway. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. So we'll finish our walk around here now. A lot of sharp edges on here. I had to use quite a bit of protection. Always use protection. And here as well, just so that they don't get uh, rubbed through. It's a little bit of a sharp edge right on there. And I use the corners on the top. Lots of protection. You don't want anything ripping. Okay. I'm ready to go. Oh, man. Definitely gonna have to clean out this... Clean out this floor mat and this towel. Eesh. That there. Okay. Get all blue started up here. 
dust off of it from yesterday. Come on, Josh. Come on. Pull yourself together. Okay. Right on. There you are. No, that's not accurate, just so you know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take my traffic cone costume off. Oh, come on. Let me put you guys down. We'll roll out of here. Stop in Morris for a coffee, run into Tim's. Be on our way. We have 852 kilometers to go. What is 852 kilometers in miles? 852 kilometers is equivalent to 529.408 miles. 0 .408. Don't forget that. Very important. Okay, so it'll be a full day to drive there. We'll get there tonight. Uh, sleep nearby there. We'll unload this stuff in the morning and then we'll head down to Mauston for our reload. Unless that changes. You know, plans change all the time. All the time. This is trucking. Don't you know? All is good. All is well. Let's get out of this mud hole. pointy things. We've got so many flats in the last year. I've said bad luck with tires. Worried I'm going to drive over something and pick something up. this out. This is a McDonald's. There's more parking spots here than some rest areas for trucks. <laughs> There's the McDonald's right there. It's not 24 hours. It's closed right now, but 
Look at that. Look at all that truck parking over there. And then you get all this truck parking over here yet. Look at that. Got a McDonald's. Now that's convenient. You done well, Mickey D's. I'll grab a coffee in the morning. Maybe a little breakfast biscuit. Oh, and look, my LEDs are playing games with me again. Once again, these are off. I'm gonna have to start uh, taking bets from you guys. Bet on whether or not Trucker Josh's LEDs are gonna be working today or not. What do you figure? At the end of day, end of day tomorrow, you think they'll be working? Let me know down below in the comment section. It's not working today, but it was working yesterday. Don't worry, it's on the list of things to fix. It's not near the top. Got other things to do. We just bought a house. We gotta get moved. That's my number one priority right now, is get my family moved into our new home. So there we go. I gotta deliver this pretty much just around the corner in the morning. So we're right at our destination. Look at that. Didn't lose a thing. I wish these axles on these tandem step decks that we have could slide. Because look how much that rear end is sticking over those axles. And it's very hard because... Very hard to balance the weight sometimes because th this trailer... The axles are so far forward that it's often overweight on the trailer and then we gotta shift the weight around and load it all funny. Like, why are they that far forward? They don't need to be that far forward, right? And that's just the way they're made and they're fixed in place. Nothing we can do about it. Gotta be careful too when you're making sharp corners because that rear end will swing out. You don't wanna hook onto another truck or anything. I can't believe how many parking spaces are at McDonald's here in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Huh. You guys here in Eau Claire take your McDonald's very seriously, and I appreciate that. And there and there's spots available too. Look at this. Look at this. I took the one right on the side here because this is the safest one in the parking lot. I'm surprised it wasn't taken already, but it's mine. You see this side? Just grass on this side because the trucks come in this way, right? So. There's nobody on this side that's gonna be going around the front of me. So no one's gonna hook onto my hood and take it with them. Lots of room back here for them to get around me and even if they come parked beside me, I don't have to worry about them dragging their trailer over the front of my truck. It's the safest spot in this parking lot. I don't think anyone's gonna hit me here. I say I don't think because never underestimate the ability of some drivers to run over everything they see. Nice grass too, wow. That is some nice lawn. McDonald's. I am hashtag impressed. Yeah, you see, and anyone driving through here, ah, the sign's right in my way. Anyone driving through here is gonna be going right down there and my hood is well out of their way as well. So no one's gonna be hitting me. I'm safe. So, once again, thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to go down below, hit the like button if you did like the video. Helps me out a lot with the algorithms. Leave me a comment down below, too. Also helps with the algorithms. Get my videos out to more people. We're experiencing a little bit of a growth spurt again. That's awesome. Every few months these happen. Welcome to all the new people. I make new videos of my life on the road and at home almost every day. I call it a daily vlog, but let's be honest, I skip some days. Some days the trucker just needs a break from everything. I need to get some other stuff done sometimes, but I try my best. So join our crew here, hit that subscribe button, 
and I'll see you in my next video. Be safe out there, and please drive safe.